All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video is gonna be a very simple tutorial on how you guys can make a very simple gaming logo for your like gaming account or for your YouTube account or Instagram or Facebook or pretty much any social media out there. Now this video is gonna be again in Pixlr. If you guys are new here and you guys don't know what Pixlr is, I would definitely go look it up on YouTube or like Google. Pixlr is an absolutely awesome software. It's completely free. You don't have to download anything and you can pretty much do everything on Pixlr that you can do on Photoshop. Now I do want to stress today that the logos are going to be very simple logos. When it comes to graphic design and when it comes to logos, when you look on the marketplace for people to make logos, because a lot of people do use Illustrator and a lot of people do like sketch logos out before they make them. Logos are very, very expensive. Logos can be up upwards of like $100 to $200 to even like $300 for your own custom unique logo. So logos are one of the most requested videos that I get, but logos are super hard and I'm not going to go through like Adobe Illustrator. I'm not going to go through like sketching out your own logo. I'm going to go very simple and I'm going to do kind of like a tutorial on kind of like how I made my logo. Obviously, you guys see on my channel, my logo is very simple. You guys see the red, you guys see the white, and you guys see the black. Three simple colors, just the I and the K from Ice Kicks. Now, I'll toss a little picture up on screen of a TikToker that I actually watched, but his name is Lo and he just has like L O to stand for Lo. So his name doesn't have like two words like mine where it's like Ice and Kicks for the I and K. If you guys just have like one name, Name. maybe like your YouTube name is I don't know like frizzy or something like that I'm just gonna use that as, as an example because I made a tutorial for him not that long ago you can put like FZ or something like that but when it comes to like these like two letter or like one letter type of logos you're gonna want a unique font and you're gonna want a font like the one that I'm actually gonna give you guys in this video but before we get too far into this tutorial I've already been talking a lot if you guys haven't already gone ahead and just like the video and also subscribe to the channel please make sure to go ahead and do so I do lots of tutorials I do tutorials on YouTube banners for Pixlr. I also do tutorials on like thumbnails, um, Twitter headers, all sorts of stuff. So make sure you're subscribed and you guys have the notification bell on so you guys know when my videos do go live. I really, really appreciate all you guys in Noti Gang. You guys are absolutely awesome. And yeah, let's just go ahead and hop right into the tutorial and I'll show you guys how you guys can make these for yourself. So first of all, before you guys have anything, figure out the, the letters that you guys want to use for your logo. Once you have that, we're going to head into pixlr.com slash E. Now we're going to use Pixlr E today because that's the one that I pretty much use for all of my tutorials tutorials. We're going to go to square HD, which is actually 1080 by 1080. This is the one we're pretty much going to always be using for logos just because it is square. And also we're going to leave the background as transparent as well, which is key because this is a logo and we're going to want to save it as a transparent image so we can use it for pretty much like any other thing, like a thumbnail or like a banner or anything that we make in the future for ourselves. All right. So first things first, we're going to jump into the font. Now, while I will have a link in the top of the description for this exact font that I'm using. I absolutely love this font in particular. It's called Dream MMA. Again, link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check it out and download it. Now I have a video already on how to download fonts on Pixlr. I'll toss a little card up if you guys want to check that out. Go watch that and come back if you guys want to know how to download the font. I'm not going to go through it again, but we're going to go back here and I'm just going to assume you guys already have the font in your like text thing here. We're going to click add text and I'm going to go to that dream MMA font that I just had. Now, the key thing with this font, and I'm not entirely sure why the key thing is that this font is only going to work with lowercase letters. So I can type as many lowercase letters as you guys can see here as I want, and they're going to show up fine. But as soon as I type in like capital letters, as you guys can see, it goes back to the normal font. The font just doesn't support any like capital letters and all the letters are like already capitalized. So it's really good for like, as you guys know, like logos and stuff like that but make sure to not capitalize anything by the way, or just make sure not to hold the shift button down. So the first thing we're going to start off is pick the two colors. Now I went with just like white and red. You guys can do like whatever colors you want. It really is up to you, but I'm going to go ahead and just start with white. And as you guys can see in the thumbnail, we're just going to do that I and that K. Now I believe before I even started, I wanted it italic as well. So it is kind of slanted and it kind of looks cool in my opinion. So if I type in IK, that's kind of like what it's gonna look like. Now I wanna do the K different colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I and I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna drag the size up a bit just so I'm able to like work with it, if that makes any sense. But we're gonna put it right about in the middle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm gonna drag it right next to it. So we do know that this second duplicate layer is the same exact like font size as the first one. So I'll click it. I'm going to put a K again, not capitalize. And as you guys can see here, we got it kind of 
mixed here. Now what I want to do is kind of just angle it how I want. That's looking good right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Now the key thing is I'm going to take the K and I'm going to double click it and I'm going to change the color to the red that I had before. Click OK. Bada bing, bada boom. We got it. Now what we're actually going to do, actually I don't want that move. We're going to get it. Make sure we have it as close like matching the other one as we can here. It's all about the details when it comes to logos, guys. We're gonna take it and I'm just gonna use the down arrow to move it. And I think that looks just about right there. Now what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take the eye layer and we're gonna go to layer, rasterize, text, and element. And we're gonna take the K and we're also gonna do the same exact thing, layer, rasterize, text, slash, element. Now we're gonna go to the K and we're gonna click this triple, uh, this little uh, three dots right here. And we're gonna go to merge down. And now we have the I and the K will rasterize as an image layer. And we also have it like combined as well. So it's really super easy to work with here. If you guys wanna make it bigger at all, now that it's rasterized, you can stretch it. You can do whatever you want with this thing. You can angle it if you really want to, uh, whatever you guys really are want to do with yours. Now, make sure to make any adjustments that you do wanna make before you go ahead and do this, but I don't really wanna make any adjustments. So to, if you guys wanna leave it how it is right here, you guys can. That's kinda like how I did it on my channel, but a lot of people do like having like a stroke on their logo because they do use it on like a webcam or they do toss it over like a webcam overlay. And some people just want the border around it. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So now that we have both of them selected and merged, if you go to, I believe it is edit and stroke. You can add a stroke to it. Now I believe in the thumbnail, I added just a black stroke and I had it pretty thick as well. So I'm gonna leave it right about here. Now, as you guys can see, for me, it's all about the details when it comes to a logo because a logo is going to be something that you're going to be using like every single day. And it's something that's basically like representing yourself. So a logo is something that you guys want to have like clean and you guys want it to be detailed, even if you are making it yourself. So yes, this is very simple, but I'm going to show you guys how to make this look a lot better than it looks right now. So in Pixlr and like if you guys can see these edges look terrible, there's some black in between here. The edges are circular too. It just doesn't look good. I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can fix it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this K here because it just it just don't look good. We're gonna take this lasso tool here and we're gonna go to the polygon of lasso. And I am going to zoom in pretty far here using the scroll wheel on my mouse to actually zoom in. And I'm gonna start with some of these corners. So if I go here and I click each time I wanna make a point, and I'm gonna click up here and I'm gonna click all the way across and I'm gonna click here and I'm just gonna be like re painting in these corners so I'm gonna click again over here I'm gonna click again I'm gonna click I'm gonna click each time I want to make a point just kind of making a point every now and then and just going to do and have it start off okay so now we're gonna go to the draw tool right here um, and then we're gonna make sure this is on black. We're gonna make sure the brush is on like one of these, like 20, and we wanna make the um, step, we wanna make the step zero. We wanna have it on a hard tip. We wanna have the opacity at 100%. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're, as you guys can see, I can literally just fill all of that in. And if I go to select and deselect, as you guys can see, I made that corner sharp. I feel like it looks a lot better. And you guys can kind of just continue that process for each corner is which is what I did for the thumbnail as you guys can see like in the thumbnail the logos are like much sharper like this you guys are also going to notice if you zoom in it gets grainy that's just how it is when you guys zoom in super far on like something like this but if I zoom out as you guys can see it looks fine and also that right side does look a lot cleaner in my opinion so I'm probably going to do a time lapse of me doing the rest of this if you guys want to watch or you can just skip ahead to see how you guys can export it and change the colors of the logo as well
All right, so now you guys can see we have the logo done. All the edges are looking super sharp and it's actually combined in the middle of this K2, which I think looks pretty nice. Now what we need to do is we need to go to file and we need to go to save and we actually need to make sure it's on PNG to make sure it's transparent. I'm just gonna name it Ice Kicks Logo PNG and I'm just gonna make sure width and height are 1080 by 1080. I'll click download and I usually just show in folder and I usually just drag it to my desktop. Now, if I go to file, new image, and I actually just go to square HD, just like the one I was in before, and I go to layer, add image as layer, and I find that image that I literally just saved, which is right here. Now, what we can do is we can go to adjustment and we can go to hue and saturation, and I can just drag the hue to whatever color I so choose. It could be green, it could be a nice teal, and it could be orange, red, pink, purple, anything like that. And the cool thing about this as well is that say I want like a purple, but like I want this purple, but I want it to be a more darker and more saturated. I can take this saturation and I can jack this up to about like 50 if I really want like a deep purple. And this actually looks pretty cool in my opinion. Take the lightness, I usually just leave the lightness where it is, but then I usually just change the color. I save it as like the purple logo and then I'll just go right back into Pixlr. I'll go to adjustment hue and I will just change it to another color like say green drag the saturation up a little bit and I will just download it and I will just download a bunch of colors in case I need them in the future for designs now what you guys could do is you guys could toss it over your webcam you guys can toss it maybe say in the corner of your YouTube videos you can use it as a profile picture if you just want to like toss a white background behind it kind of like how I did in my profile picture on my YouTube channel but I think that's gonna wrap up today's video if you guys have any questions make sure to go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below I answer most of the comments now on my videos also if you guys would like to see a banner tutorial kind of like the banner that I have on my channel make sure to go ahead and leave a comment and also just support these videos and yeah I appreciate all the support lately on the tutorials I got more coming and I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel thank you for watching. Peace.